Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because just kind of warning you and taking what happened in crypto recently. So there's nobody who can predict the future. And if anyone says, hey, I can predict the future, that they are lying to you and probably maybe trying to make money from you. Now I've been very honest, I had a live stream for three and a half hours and I showed that I lost a lot of money. I showed the buy list that I bought at and I showed the current buy list. I basically lost 50% of money on the buy list on high end reserve list cards. I don't even look at the other singles I bought uh, as part of those collections. I doubt that they have, they probably lost more than 50%. I showed you the booster boxes, right? Even though for the most part, they didn't lose all that much money, the volume on them have dropped to maybe one box a month is selling on TCG Player among all 10,000, 100,000 sellers. Yeah, I mean, you can't get out of that sealed. I mean, sealed presents its own problems. Even if sealed doesn't look like it dropped that much, how are you gonna sell it all? I mean, how are you gonna sell, how am I gonna sell 50 boxes of Modern Horizons for anything remotely close to what I paid for them on buy list. Now, sports card investor, like a lot of these investment channels that you see in sports cards, they were absolutely wrong. And there is a price to pay for that. But I just wanted to tell you about crypto. So here are the list of companies and here are a list of YouTube channels on this very platform with over a million subscribers who told you to buy FTX dot us or ftx international depending on if they're international in the us and it's gone down to zero uh graham stefan probably one of the biggest finance youtubers andre jacole meet kevin and minority mindset each of these four individuals have over a million subscribers and they were paid at least according to coffee zeller at least fifty thousand dollars a month to promote ftx which is now bankrupt are approaching bankruptcy. Um, in crypto, this is just the list of the recent billion dollar companies that went under. FTX, Voyager, Free Arrow, Celsius, Lunar. Um, that's just, I mean, five of them is enough, right? And every single one of these was being promoted by the people in the crypto space and they were being paid 50, 60, 100, a quarter million dollars uh, a month to promote credit cards. Andre Jaglenke was promoting a Bitcoin credit card. And I think that company went belly under. So like just today, you cannot listen to people online on YouTube for financial advice. I've been very clear myself. I got bloodied like a, mo a mofo. I mean, and Magic the Gathering, and I haven't even talked about Pokemon. If you guys are into lost porn, I can live stream and go over to Pokemon and Inuyasha. I've, I've lost and made some very bad business decisions. I, I you know, it's not justifiable, uh, but at least it's my business decision. I never told you guys, hey, let's all, I mean, most of you can't buy it by list anyway, so when it, my advice wouldn't even work for you guys. But I got bloodied, I got uh, savagely beat. You know, I've always said, I've always been honest about this. I've lost a, money, a lot of money on one stock in particular, ARK Invest. I lost a lot of money in Baidu, which is a Chinese stock. I had a lot of Chinese stock. I lost a lot of money on Alibaba. Um, I not, you know, I got bloody just like the rest of you guys. I took L's, you know, I'm not here to tell you, oh, hey, I know you know, this card, you know, when sports card investor, he does five cards going up, five cards going down, five cards going sideways. It, it does make me frustrated because some people are gonna trade on that information because they don't know better. The whole point of these are, are when he does a whatnot thing or, you know, people, it gets paid by $50,000 to do a whatnot buy and stuff. Our card collector too, or Mojo Sports. I think a lot of times people take the money and they don't really think too hard about where their money's coming from or what the objective of their money is. And they have opinions that are obviously very diluted because when you're getting paid $50,000, like some individuals in the sports car community are being paid, or you're Brian Kibler and they're paying you who knows how much money to promote a 1,000, or as Rudy would say, $1,100 item to the casual magic player, 
this is not going to go well because the reason that they're paying you so much money is because they're making even more money on the back end. And now if they're going to make all that money on the back end, if they paid you $50,000 a month to promote FTX, well, that's because your subscribers have made them $5 million a month. It's like online casino gambling promotion, you know, which a lot of people don't like. The same people who criticize the online casinos, and rightfully so, are the same people saying, hey, don't spend money there, spend money with my crypto company, my NFT company, my, uh, you know, I own an NFT art company. We've never sold a single NFT. We've never minted, forget selling. We've never minted an NFT. You might be like, oh, why do you have an NFT company? I've had one for almost two years. Uh, it will be two years early March. It's fun. I like it. I enjoy it. I learned a lot about crypto. And the one thing I learned about crypto is don't invest in it. Don't invest in it. Most NFTs are scams, if not all of them. They're not artistically creative. They're not good to look. In my opinion, you know, there's not even an art value to most NFTs, you know, like Gary Vanderchuk NFTs. There's no art value to it. It's just scribbles. So please, 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 in today's financial difficulty, where if you do listen to somebody and your FTX, your, you know, whatever your wallet, whatever your coins are gone forever, or Lunar, or you put it in a Celsius bank and the bank steals are gone, these are because people on YouTube with audiences said, hey guys, go buy. I don't take sponsorship. I'm not taking a sponsorship since like the Japanese crate box from like five years ago. Nobody sponsored me. I don't have a code. I don't even tell you to like or subscribe on my videos because I honestly don't care. I've been nothing but honest, you know, and it's hard to say it because I'm supposed to be an MTG financial wizard and I have lost godly amounts of money and you know the idea i had was the buy list was sacred i've never like previously it, it's just still a little shocking to me that the buy list because the buy list is made from the smartest people making the best choices and the you know i mean it's like i don't even need to worry about it because people are carting them way better and more active in in figuring out what the cost of each card should be based on their sales volume which they have better data stats than i do and I got bloodied really bad because I thought the buy list, just like these people in FTX and just, I thought the buy list is, if you can buy for the buy list, or if, the way I did it was five or 10% over the buy list to get them to sell to me instead of Card Kingdom and so on. Uh, I thought that was a very safe place to be. Well, it turns out it's not. It turns out the buy list can half in uh, 60 days. And that's something that I have never seen before, um, that I've seen the buy list go away. That's pretty compelling, right? Well, there's no more buy list for these cards, but I've never really seen it go down like Underground Sea was $700, maybe 90 days ago, maybe 120, some recent time ago when I was buying Underground Seas by the boatload, and now it's free 80. Same website. And I just look at that and I say, oh, hmm. <laughs> so please do not listen to people on YouTube for financial advice. And please, please, please do not listen to people who are being promoted, who are being paid money. Because the idea, you know, I own a marketing agency. The idea of me paying you money to promote my one of my clients is we expect to see a return on investment of at least 10 to 100 right? Depending on what my client's trying to do. There's no reason we would endorse you unless we thought you could move our product. And the product is crypto, if the product is magic cards, if the product is sealed magic boxes, these are not very good products right now. These are, I mean, at the very least, we're maybe they're not very, maybe they're, they're at the very least not liquid products right now that you can move very easily for cash. Just, you know, this is, should be a devastating lesson. The biggest YouTubers in finance, which is a huge space on YouTube, millions and millions of subscribers, Minority Mindset, Andrew Kaleka, whatever his name is, uh, me, Kevin, Graham Stefan. Graham Stefan himself is a giant in this field. They all promoted FTX. 
Some promoted FTX.US, which is the US version. Some promoted FTX. Both of them went bankrupt on the same day. So I, I don't know what else to tell you, except that, you know, when a YouTuber or any influencer, it doesn't matter on YouTube, Instagram, they're being paid to promote whatnot or eBay or Magic 1000, Magic 30th anniversary. It's because the person paying them is expecting a, a very high multiplier on their profitability. And why are these companies so profitable? Well, when you print magic cards for, you know, a pack of magic cards, shouldn't it cost more to print? Maybe the backs with the black ink cost a little bit more on 30th anniversary, but it should cost the same amount of money to print as a normal pack of magic cards and you're selling for a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a highly profitable, maybe at most, it's a $10 cost with shipping. And you're selling for 11, like a thousand, what, 1100, you don't really get the tax, but you, let's say a thousand dollars. This is a $990 profit per box. Yeah, you can get Brian Kipler to promote it and you can give him millions of dollars to do so if you wanted to, because you're gonna make even more from this product. Your margins are so, I mean, how many boxes do you need to sell? Because uh, you can sell them. And each box you sell is almost a 100% profit. So that's the same idea with crypto, because crypto is intangible, is that like, hey, if you put your coins on this exchange and then that exchange like FTX just steals them, well, that's 100% profitability. It's, it's almost you know the same as magic or the sports cards or anything. The higher the profitability, like market movers, for instance, once the app is built, it doesn't cost any money when some another person makes a login. Maybe there's a very, very, very small server cost, like less than one one thousandth of a cent if you're on Amazon, but that's it. So, you know, if you sign up another person for market movers at nine ninety nine, that's almost nine. It's almost ten dollars of profitability. Like the cost of the user actually logging in and using the app. Again, there might be some slight server costs, but other than that, it's basically free after the app is already made. So be careful guys. Um, it, it's a bloodbath out there. I've, you know, I, I think it's funny because I do have a lot of haters and they don't actually believe what I say. Like I don't go to Whole Foods to shop anymore because I can't, I, I honestly can't imagine doing that right now. Um, I don't eat lobster anymore when I used to eat lobster very often. The whole crab and lobster joke, right? The guy in the comment section. If I am feeling that things are going to shit, then you should be worried. You should be very worried. <laughs> Guys.